Hello. This morning I woke up and I checked the weather and I saw on the weather map Friday is Friday the 13th. I was a little bit shocked and stunned by this. Friday the 13th has some very, very bad memories for me. When I was in medical school, I was having a lot of health challenges, but I was able to rise up against them. And then my medical school said, congratulations, we selected you to be one of the representatives for our school to go to an international conference. The conference was in Washington, D.C. They were going to fly me along with three other people to Washington, D.C. to represent the school at the conference. I was really excited. Our flight was supposed to leave on Thursday the 12th. Well, there was a little bit of an issue because on Wednesday the 11th, the flight coming into the airport was delayed. So they got in later than expected. The flight crew went to the hotel and then American Airlines called the airport and said, can you please tell the flight crew to come in an hour late tomorrow morning because they will not have had 12 hours between the two flights and FAA regulations require they must have 12 hours of rest between their flights. The grounds crew never called the flight crew, which was at the hotel. So on Thursday the 12th, the flight crew comes in, la di da di da punches in for work, and then American Airlines immediately calls the airport and says, you guys have to get checked out immediately. Please do not stay punched in. You need to get punched out. So the flight crew punches out. The time clock starts all the way over back to, to zero and they have to wait 12 hours. So instead of leaving at 8 a.m., we leave at 8 p.m. Well, there's a problem because it's four hours to Miami. We arrive in Miami at midnight and our connecting flight to Washington, D.C. is long gone. We have to stay the night and then the following morning, which is Friday the 13th, we have to get another uh, connecting flight from Miami to Washington, D.C. When my friend and I check in at the airport, we see we can select our seats and we're like, oh, right, let's get two seats together and then we can be together on the airplane. So we do this. The two other people in our, in our group did not see you could do this. So we get onto the flight and my friend and I are sitting next to each other. And then the other two people are scattered throughout the plane and they were not very excited about this. My friend and I were just going to study. We're in the midst of medical school. We had lots to study, but these two guys wanted to chat and blah, blah, blah. And so they were like, please switch with us. We need to sit together. You guys are just going to study anyways. You can sit, you can sit apart. So I was being very kind and gracious. So I agreed to sit apart. So I took one of the, the other seats that were apart. And when I sit down, immediately I noticed the man on my right is sick. Very, very sick. I may have only been in med medical school, but I could tell you he had pneumonia. He was coughing everywhere. He had a fever. He was sweating profusely. He had shaking chills and I'm going, classic case of pneumonia. Unfortunately, the flight was booked because of all the different flight schedules and everything. That flight was completely oversold, booked. That was the only seat I could sit in. So for three hours, I sat next to this man that was very, very sick. When I arrive in Washington, D.C., I go to the conference. The next day, I wake up and I'm not feeling well. A couple days later, I just progressively get worse and worse until I collapse and have to be rushed to the emergency department. I spend a month in the hospital, sick with pneumonia. I get discharged home. It takes me another two months to actually get over the pneumonia. I try during this time to keep up with medical school. I, I go back in the fall to continue my medical studies and I am just so, so sick. Uh, the pneumonia plus all my previous medical issues just sent my underlying medical condition, which is mitochondrial disease, just sent that out of the park and just made that absolutely awful and horrible. I tried so hard to get through medical school, but unfortunately on October 10th of that year, I had to make the easiest decision, but the hardest decision to live with. I had to give up my dream of becoming a physician and drop out of medical school. So ironically, that anniversary just passed on Tuesday, which was October 10th. So when I saw the October 13th, Friday the 13th, I'm going, oh no, all these bad memories of that flight and 
what everything transpired that I ended up getting sick and sick for a very, very long time and then having to drop out of medical school. So whenever I see Friday the 13th, I'm like, oh no, not this day again. <laughs> so I hope everybody has a very safe, happy, and enjoyable Friday the 13th. And I hope nothing awful or bad or yucky happens to you. So thank you so much for joining me. Please remember to like and subscribe down below. I hope you have a great day and a wonderful week. Happy Friday the 13th. Bye-bye.